Nicely done. I told you I'd do it. Well done. You say you were going to do it. I thought you were going to forget. No, I would never. No, you did it. Hey, guys, welcome to The Gutter. My name is Steve. This is episode 16 of the third season of The Gutter's Podcast. Today we're going to be <laughs> talking about... not quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. I'm this so is sorry. Exactly right there. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> ghost don't talk. <laughs> we'll have to kill him. And then he'll be a ghost. And then he won't be able to talk. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the greatest control of all time. Uh, but first, we have a couple of things to attend to. And guys, stick around because we have a couple of announcements to make. One of which, if you're in our Discord, you're already aware of. Another one that I have not announced yet that uh, we will get to at the end of the stream. So, teaser! Woohoo! My name is Steve-O. Joining me today is Corporate Cal. Hello! Uh, over here is Jam and Amon. What's up, y'all? Uh, we are learning to say Amon and Jam and Amon. Yeah. Because we're transitioning from your, your real name, Alex, to your code name. My uh, tag. And, your and code over name. here, and your tag. Your tag. <laughs> code yeah. name. Code Amon. name, Amon. And uh, JB, over yonder. Yes, code name. JB. Uh, <laughs> I, I know I don't normally wear shorts on stream and my legs are super white, but it is hot as fucking balls. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the, be the beacons of Gondor it's have been the lit, Texas, Steven. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's just... I'm you like guys the only one wearing, jean or wearing pants, actually. I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wore pants all day at work today, and I'm like... Yeah. Uh, worst was in 64, so this game guy... Ooh, and that's... I agree with him on that one, so we're gonna get... We're gonna get there. Uh, and we already have a GameCube controller from Cretaceous Beard. I'm going to have you guys tell me why when we get into, into topic. Uh, first of all, here, guys, these are bands from our friend Cretaceous Beard, who oh. is a wonderful streamer on Twitch. So I'm going to hand these out. I'm going to give these to the other podcast crew oh, members. Cool. Dirtes already has one. This doesn't uh, say gutter him. nerds. No, it says... It says crustaceous beard. Crustaceous? I like crustaceous beard. Crustaceous. It's crustaceous. Like crustaceous I, I, I know, but I want to say crustaceous. Crustaceous beard. It, it, what it, happens it, when, he like, when he doesn't like shampoo after like a week? Beard. You get your crust... I'll, I'll put this so on. So much like, much like uh, Stephen Colbert always wore that band that meant something. I don't remember what it was. Super, uh, super cool descriptor uh, yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, I will be wearing this uh, on stream from now on. So if you catch catch my left wrist on stream, it's our little Cretaceous Beard shout out. On where's top your right, of which... Where's your right wrist, wrist on stream? Awesome. Uh, right wrist, that's that's for my... That's for my... Uh, uh, catcher's mint. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, that would be on your what left. Would, what would be on the left, 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 left hand? Oh, because I'm right-handed. Right that's yeah. embarrassing. And then the ring. Actually, everything's going to go on the left hand. My ring yeah, is going to go on the left hand. Down. This is all... He mm. The right hand. When you guys see my right hand on stream, this will be the Cretaceous beard. Root best controllers, uh, more like sexiest wrists. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if you guys would, right. do me a favor and follow show. Cretaceous beard on Twitch. It is spelled exactly the way you think it is spelled. Uh, unless you don't know how unless to spell Cretaceous, know how to spell Cretaceous or Because it's kind beard. of a wonky word. The, the Crustaceous But twitch.tv slash Cretaceous Beard. Uh, if you guys are watching on YouTube, you can see it right there on screen. If you guys are watching on Twitch, you can just click the link in the chat and give CB a follow. He's like a really... Imagine... Uh, I'm wondering where this is Yeah, going. I want to know where this is going. Imagine go? Zach Galifianakis from The Hangover mixed with Bradley Cooper from The Hangover. And that person uh, is very funny in streams. So, like... Sexy, chubby, funny. Not, but but also fit and very well put together. Yeah. yeah, that's what I said. Sexy, chubby. Like I'm sexy, chubby. I'm like I got I got chubs here yeah. and there. <laughs> oh, and he also puts out. So there you go. Awesome. Cool. Good, good, good first Sweet. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Count me as Cretaceous <laughs> smear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how I feel. Sorry, about I just I just I had to. <laughs> Damn, I need a shower good. after that one. That was, <laughs> I, I was like, good. ooh, I have a rhyming word. <laughs> just and like, I didn't stop. Smear. Yeah, you got crustaceous smear. Dude, you can't <laughs> even say it <laughs> still. <laughs> trouble. Guys, what have you been playing? <laughs> Cal, what have you been playing? Uh, League and TF and TFT. Playing, playing the, the Rift as well as TFT. See, your, your PC is like sort of wonky, but you PC. are still able to play. No, I mean, I can play TFT. games. I just can't play. You can't stream on it very well yeah. until you get your shit together. Yeah, which we're close to. My shit is close to being together. Good. We're close. <laughs> that was keep your shit together. together. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, how are, has, are you doing ranked? Yeah. Uh, I am How's rank going? Plat uh, four in league and gold two in TFT. And steal away, CB. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. I already have it. Good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I gave yeah. him a, a, a very subtle amount. So, yeah, that's where, where it's at with those ranks. And then, uh, 
you know, trying new Hextech came out if you haven't played it recently. It came out earlier this week, the new class and team fight tactics and fuck that class. Uh, it is broken like, as fuck. And I, I like a little bit of TFT that you team you fight. showed. I, oh, I want to play fun. some more that was of it. That's fun to watch. I, I would I would enjoy watching you play TFT. Yeah. I will play especially because I I don't want to play it. Um, it's not my type of game, but I it's like it was like watching Bob Ross paint. I liked watching someone good at it play it. I'd get very frustrated there you too. Go. So yeah. That's okay. Yeah, that's, why you gotta, that's why no, you need to stream, just, uh, bro. No, I get fucking this, frustrated. This mother <laughs> lover deserves an extra friend in hell. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just pour on the soul. People like oh, that dude, sometimes. <laughs> but then also, if you don't get your fucking RNG roll, you get real fucking mad. Yeah. Like, just need one fucking champion. Well, dude, and you burn through 40 gold. He's and just thinking about trash. it. And he, I am. I am <laughs> he's right now. Yeah. Is so you have right your vocab is fucked right now, dude. What about you, JB? What have you been playing? Actually, I put the controller down for the last week or so. What? Um, por, por qué? Um, just por getting, qué? getting set up for the work. Uh, honestly, like yeah, I, yeah. I've spent getting a lot. Like, yeah, getting, getting back into work. Because the last two weeks, I've been putting a lot of hours at my campus. Um, over hours, getting set up, getting the school set up, getting my lesson planning done, and stuff like that. And this whole, you know, this week also, I will be not gaming a whole, whole heck of a lot. Actually, it's so funny because, like, you know, like my wife who's like, not into gaming. She would even argue at sometimes she that there are certain ways in which gaming can be negative. She, in fact, wanted to uh, do a podcast. She just as I oh was yeah, bring today, her on. As I was leaving today, she wanted to do a podcast. Bring her on. She's like she's like she will steamroll the shit out of me. She'll be like facts, facts, she, facts, facts. No, she was like, already like, uh, uh, I, was like, I, was like <laughs> I was like hey, do you want to do a group? She's like yeah, but it would be, oh okay. Uh, it would be you know I'd be talking about like how the uh, you know how they might influence violence in people or something like that. And whether or not, and whether or not the research is there to actually support it, like she's coming in unbiased, but she's like, "Yeah, I can do that." And I was like, "Yeah, I bet in like thirty minutes you could out research Stephen if he prepped an entire week for this." And she's like, "I mean, yeah, she, she's a professor; it's her job." Yeah. Um, but so even her, who is like not into gaming, like last night she rolled over and she's like, "When's the last time you played Spider Man? You should get you should get out there and play some Spider Man." I'm like, "I'd love to, but I'm not really into it." She's like. Really? What so if, if if Nerd has rolled over, she goes, you know, I think you should go play a game. Then the the cloud shape of Stevo laying there in bed would <laughs> would would go okay as it faded away into nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what about you guys uh, in chat? What have you been playing? Oh, there she is. No uh, way. I'd be super no way, Jose. She says, I would be super intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, you guys in chat, what have you been playing? Raven1 says, I've been trying to get my realm chops back and my master ranking back. Yes. Stop. Is that is that tough? Like, is that something that you're did battling you, with? Did you stop and, using a trackball or something? And what about you, Alex? <laughs> what have you been playing while, while chat? What have you been uh, playing? Amon. What have you been up to? Same old. Amon! Uh, Amon! Nah, Damn it. There you go. Nice, dude. Think of a Jamaican. But, uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Think of a Jamaican <laughs> and you got it. Amon. Hey, but um, no, just been playing Overwatch. There's a new character that came out, um, Sigma. I've been oh. kind of messing around with him. He's pretty fun. Like um, just getting getting used to his abilities and. Uh, What's Sigma do? So so he's a new tank. Um, he's he a shield like tank. Um, <laughs> his his abilities are kind of centered around gravity. Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah, and so he he projects out a a, a shield, and you can control the distance. Um, uh, um, for how far or close so you it said, is to uh, you. What's it? A tank? Mm -hmm. Shield yeah. tank. Shield tank. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And um, mm -hmm. and then he also has an ability where he can absorb uh, damage, and so uh, I mean he turns all that damage into into shields. And that's uh, really cool. Yeah. He's he's uh, pretty aggressive. You can play him aggressive or passively. He. Uh, I'm kind of trying to figure out where he sits in in the in the line of tanks because there's certain types of tanks that are great for like pushing the line or holding. Yeah. Holding um, a certain a spot, door. a bunk, kind of bunking no, hold down. Hold the door. Hold the door. <laughs> uh, um, I, I, I have that with Ying, uh, who's a healer and paladins. I know it's not the same, but th you can sort of play her kind of aggressive because she can be kind of a damage dealing healer, yeah. or she can just focus on like healing the team. And I, I sort of try to thread that because she has an ability where like you, you create clones and those clones heal in an area, oh, nice. like heal different characters. Yeah. But then when you um, do shatter illusion and the illusions shatter they seek out the nearest enemy and explode on them oh, okay. and so part of me is like putting out there to heal but then also 
like bombing the shit out of people. Mm-hmm. Like I'll stay like be on a second and toss out like a clone and have them seek in and like, you know, blow people yeah. up. Or you can play it defensively. And- or just play defensively and stand back and make sure that I've got, you know, little healing clones for people as yeah. their position. So yeah, that's that's fun. That's cool. uh, yeah. Um, welcome. Welcome back. Uh, I'm playing Fire Emblem and says, hello. Uh, hello. Doug's been playing uh, Minecraft Dead Rising 4 and about to reinstall GTA 5. All right. Mm. Nice. I've been playing some Minecraft. Hang too. on to mm. that idea as we get a little bit of 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 a little bit What's your what's your uh, KD in the <laughs> what's your what's your win loss ratio in solitaire? Do they keep track? Do you do you check your stats in solitaire? I'm afraid, I think to, there check is my, I'm afraid to check my stats in solitaire. <laughs> uh, Raven says uh, he's lost a noticeable step in realm. But I, you, you took time off because of the heat and gaming in a hot room really fucking blows. Just, just totally yeah. good. Yeah, it does. Or hey, just get or hey, get good. Listen hey, to Cal. Come on, Cal's got a hey, good I point. I don't hear trash. Cal's get back up to master. Point. Get out of here. So, uh, guys, we're going to talk about <laughs> controllers today. What, before we, like, start hammering down to, like, the best controller of all time, which is the ultimate goal of today, what is your personal favorite controller? And maybe this answers the same question as what you think the best controller of all time is. But what's your favorite controller? What's the one that you like to play? Now, who already just thinks mouse and keyboard is a, just the best way to control in general? Come on. In general. I mean, in it there. has the best control. Like, when I switched from PS4 to to, play, or to a PC, I'm playing Overwatch, I noticed a big difference. Okay, because so, I, I, I want to give credit where credit's due. If you guys think, and, and it really, Raven says it really depends on the game. But, but so, so overall, it does depend on the game. It does depend but, on the let's game. Say. But let's say, over, you're going to choose one thing to game everything from. Mm-hmm. A computer. Do you still choose mouse and keyboard and just sort of deal with some of the crap from other games? Or now, if you're going to only have one controller, mm-hmm. do you actually go for something else? Because something like Dark Souls is absolutely unplayable on mouse and keyboard. Uh, something. I mean, I saw a kid play that on like a Oh, sure. Yeah, the, the DK fucking <laughs> bongo drums and yeah, you can play yeah. it. Sure, 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 sure. But, but I mean, I guess what I would have, I, I would probably have to say mouse and keyboard only because you would be able to program where you would want if you could con- program all the uh, controls, um, and so that they're in an easy, um, you know, layout. Even I would almost agree with you, and 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 here's why: I've played Diablo uh, three on controller oh, and God, I played that it like oh, a horrible nightmare. It is. I, I mean, it is. We played. Yeah, we played. Like, we played Diablo three. It's, and it's we, we had wow. a good time. So coming from not, keyboard and having to learn the new language, and that's what probably I'm would suck. It's not unplayable. It was actually. But, but us but playing like, Diablo, playing and playing not on having a PC, it. I could do it. Well, and I sure. Was better. But here's where I struggled. Um, was like if I was typing on a keyboard to like communicate, I I have like muscle memory. But like I don't have that memory for like. All right, I'm gonna use this to point and click, and I know to hit one through ten on the top for like different abilities or whatever. Abilities yeah. and use the the W ASD ASD to move. like that. That does not come second nature to me, and so I get clunked down on mm. that. Whereas it just a takes control, practice. yes, and that's what I'm getting at. I think if I practiced, I would be good, yeah. and I would argue that technically the mouse so, and keyboard is most versatile. But that ain't a control. Alm prefers the PS3 DualShock 3. And Princess Cuddlepants is a really good question. Is switching controls like switching between Mac and PC? Like you have to switch your brain a little to remember how it oh, works. Oh, yeah, for sure. If, yeah, if, if you're doing PC versus these, yes. Um, a lot well, of the I mean, time. So. The, uh, the PlayStation and Xbox are similar enough in nature. You got the two joysticks for your two thumbs, and then you've got the four button layout. And then it's not too it's much. It's probably of a not going to throw you too much. Right. But, but going from. Like, yeah, mouse and keyboard, where you have all well, of these buttons, well, right? That, that, to explain it to Princess Kettlepans, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, things that we use when it comes to first-person shooters or games. On, instead of a joystick, as they just pointed out, you do use the controls W, A, S, D as your move forward, move backward, your left and your right, together, along with uh, your mouse to look around. So you'd be moving forward and turning with your mouse, essentially. So... Uh, Alma has a good point. If if the game says press X and you're switching between the PS, I was the, yeah, say, yeah, yeah, yeah that's a, where it like. There's a funny because meme where it's like you have the Xbox like on the left, the, the way, Super NES the way on I the top, would describe it is yeah. like and the PlayStation were, on the bottom. If you were to switch from a game where it was inverted controller to default, 
and you weren't able to change it, like manually go in and change inverted versus not, and just yeah. having to switch your brain over, between, okay, this one I push up, it goes up, this other one I push up and I aim down. Like that's that's about as hard as the mental flip you have to make like yeah. on controller. So something like a real-time strategy game, I think absolutely would be mouse and keyboard. Like, you know, Halo oh, yeah. Wars was on controller and they did the best they could and arguably it, it worked okay for what it was, but it it's a very, right but it's a very simple, sort of interface whereas mm -hmm. you know something like starcraft you know th the worst one was starcraft for the n64 yeah. hands down <laughs> the worst the wor you know what like really a great time yeah except it Woo. wasn't it wasn't i know you so had faith there cal i could feel it no it was the worst it was literally yeah. the worst maybe like like yes, command and conquer for the playstation well command and conquer for the n64 was fun but i don't know why that was fitting i never played Look, PC what's a cut like between that. i don't know what the hell that was sorry about that guys no. Anyway, okay. So, uh, what's uh, what about you guys? What what do you think is the best controller of all time, and why? Who wants to go first? Um, I can address Game Guy while you guys think for a second. Game Guy earlier said he thinks the 360 controller is the best controller of all time. Full yeah, stop. Hand me that 360 fun. controller if you don't mind. I disagree with. Here's Game the guy. thing: the 360 controller is a very good controller. The uh, the the triggers. Yep. Are, are good. I like the trigger way better than I like, uh, so at the same time, the PS3. The button. The mm -hmm. PS3. Yeah, the, uh, the shoulder buttons here. Yeah. Uh, and they have a trigger effect to them. It's not the same. They have a different feel. Yeah. Is the, is the thing. Yeah. You're right. So yeah, I do like the... Almost a more aggressive spring back. The, yeah. The, the, the left, left and right bumpers? Yeah, the, the bumpers are clicky. Yeah. So you can you snap and you know that they're hit. These are, are good. The buttons were solid. And the analog sticks held in there very well. There's one thing that keeps the 360 controller from being the greatest of all time. I'm gonna switch cameras and walk up here. Uh, presuming that I have the length to walk up here. Let me show you this, guys. Right here, this D-pad right here. If this were made of literal dog shit, it'd be an improvement. Yep. This D-pad is absolute garbage. So what they Snappy, good, and it wasn't rounded. D-pad, and it's not mm. rounded. This the is on a over disc. The, the D-pad over on the uh, sixty on the three sixty is basically a, a flattened uh, joystick. I was gonna yeah. say yeah, because that's what right. that extra area kind of looks like. Now, if you're talking about D-pads, I still think the best D-pad is going to be for the original NES controller. That D-pad was never broken oh, yeah. on any controller. The okay. Original NES. Check out yeah, check out the original the, the NES D -pad controller. The D-pad on there is by far the oh, best yeah. D-pad of all time. I think it's great. Except yeah. you're wrong. Oh, so sound cut out, but it's back. Oh, weird. All right, I Sorry, have guys. to go between two. I have to go between two. Um, I played a lot of this. Um, actually, I played a lot of Sega Genesis. I played a lot of this in my cousin's house. Yeah. yeah. And um, or my uh, my buddy Carl's my buddy Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Portal Prince controllers. The council will decide and your fate. The uh, Super <laughs> Nintendo by and far was the best controller to grow up on. Yeah. That's how I'm going to separate it. This is the best controller to grow up on. You got the the D buttons, but the way X and Y are caved in, whereas A and B are are concave. Mm -hmm. uh, or convex, excuse me, are absolutely brilliant. So that's yeah. a subtle thing that I didn't even really notice as a kid, I, but I you're absolutely point. right. It helped with muscle memory, so you knew what button you were pressing without having to look yeah. down. Um, the distance is like, because you're usually- it's perfect. You're usually pressing B for most actions, and it's easy to switch over to Y and X while keeping the base of your thumb on B. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A was usually, um, A over here was usually like uh, an inventory or excess like you, you wouldn't push it in the heat of the moment. Like, like right. oh, I'm, I'm, you know, doing something really, really button heavy. I'm going to be over on X, Y, and B, and then if I need, if I have the time, I can push A for something else. Right. Um, now, the other thing that the Super NES did was to sort of standardize the, the look of pretty much all controls going forward because mm -hmm. you have the D-pad on the left. Yep. Eventually, we added sticks, but the buttons are in uh, diamond shape. Right. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean. Uh, so show the face uh, up there. I don't, I don't know exactly yeah, how so much tethering you have, but I'll, I'll show you. Right over there. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. So pretty much all controllers that we have now follow that same dynamic, where I the mean, buttons are extent, buttons are not in mean, rows. They're in a in like a diamond even, shape. Even like the more modern stuff. Yeah. Right. Uh, the, the Nintendo Switch controller does it. The Xbox controller does it. The, P and, the PlayStation and controller the does it. Is your thumb is held vertically, and so you're able to cross. Like I can keep my thumb right here in the middle and then just kind of teeter it in a direction and hit the button without having to like manually move it out of place right. 
And so I can just rest it and tilt to the left to hit X, B, Y, A, that sort of stuff. So one of the reasons that Alm really likes the DualShock 3, which we have here, the PS3, is that the battery lasted 30 hours and pretty much never decayed. So yes, the thing, the this is a pretty hardy controller in terms of battery life, that's true. I've played, I've done, like I can do a, f a few like eight hour retro streams like the Spyro stuff mm -hmm. and not have to charge it, but maybe every two or three streams. I tend to charge it anyway just because I don't want to get caught in a situation where it's not charged. Yeah. The problem, and this is not the controller's fault, this is the console's fault. Um, or maybe it is the controller's fault, I'm not sure. But you you can't, you had to turn on the console to charge the controller. And it's still kind of like that. You can't because that con the controller is part of that console. You have to add that in as a flaw of the <clears throat> controller. Right. It was. So it was built. It was. This is a difficult controller to like. Even if I just take uh, a USB, this is like an older USB micro, I think, yeah. or mini. A USB mini, I think, is the top of it. Even if I take this and I plug it into uh, the outlet down here. It's not going to charge. Oh. I have to plug it into a turned on system. Specifically, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking like a power so, uh, thing. Here's, yeah. Here's my opinion on the PlayStation. PlayStation controller. How do you feel about these sticks? Um, the, sticks the sticks were good, except if um, they're easy to slide off of after a while. You can, if you're, if you're even the least bit slippery or sweaty, you'll slip off them. In my opinion, the, uh -huh. the grip's not good. Um, also, these controllers I've seen wear off. The joysticks wear off uh -huh. a lot more. Um, whereas the Xbox have a little uh, concave. I was like, going to say, yeah, uh, yeah. I like that on there. But the thing about Sony is that they, they were banking on nostalgia, and they did not change anything about the controllers for three generations. Um, I mean, on, on the original PlayStation, they added the joysticks eventually, but then PlayStation 2 looked exactly the same, PlayStation 3 looked exactly the same. And only at PlayStation 4 did they <clears throat> go for the more um, ergonomic feel, the rounded feel that they were seeing in the com competition of Xbox. Uh-huh. And it helps. You can even see the joysticks have that con uh, concave. Um, they they nub they the have a grip. like a valley and a little nub in there. Yeah, it's but the, it's an the interesting. With these ones are it's still easy for Here, my thumb show, to slip. Show off. the detail on the on the stick if you can. You see so, how it's yeah, yeah it's kind of got that right little nub. Um, Prince Cuddle Pants asked about the 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 Switch controller, and the Switch controller is a di whole different beast of its own. So Nintendo also does weird things with their controllers. <laughs> So it's a piece of garbage. The, the, they, they go for innovation or yeah. they go for new, and I, right. and I applaud the bravery. But and, and sometimes, sometimes it works and sometimes yeah. it doesn't. So the Wii controller, uh, the Wii, not the Wii U, but the Wii controller mm -hmm. was a stick, and you could hit all the hit the buttons, and there was motion. And maybe you don't like motion controllers, and that's fine. You don't have to do that. But at least it was a hardy motherfucker. Sure, People yeah. were throwing them through their plasmas, and the controllers were still working, <laughs> destroying the plasma TV <laughs> right, or you know right. breaking their TV. The controllers still work. The switch is different. So imagine um, Princess Cuddle Pants. So imagine a, a controller like this, right? Uh, like an Xbox controller or, or a PlayStation controller. Now imagine that the left side could slide out and the right side could slide out and you could use them independently of each other. Now, but then also, they're you could also, also... There's nothing ergonomic about it. They're there's very There's nothing blocky. terribly ergonomic about it. You could also... I could hand JB one half of oh, the controller, right. and we could use them as mini versions of controllers. Right, it's real tiny and it's, it's and small, but right. it's still it's still a way to get a lot of use out of one controller. Now, again, this idea is cool, uh, and I like being able to like there are and there are some games you can't you know you wouldn't be able to play a first person shooter with half a controller, but you can smash. It's not the best smash experience you can have. But the but idea the idea is that it sells the notion that you can pick it up and play anyway. Right, and we can and be like, sacrifice let's play the, Mario Party, so just take a half a controller. Yeah, and you and sacrifice we'll, the comfort yeah. for the sure. accessibility, and that's the whole thing Nintendo's going for. Right. But the problem, the problem with this is that the Nintendo Switch controllers are getting already, and the Switch has not been out very long, getting a lot of stick drift, meaning if you hold the controller and you just tilt it, you know, the stick just... Wobbles and oh, the game, like the old N64, and the game, oh. the games themselves are yeah. are uh, registering it. movement that oh, you're no. not doing. So it's just your character will you know drift Plumed on its own, yeah. and that's unacceptable. Yeah. That is unacceptable at this point. All right. So, Cal, yo, you think the best controller in the world is the Dreamcast controller, right? Because you had the window for the VMU. And the Rumble Pack, and you could uh, I, have a little screen on it. Yes. No. Nope. Okay. What's your favorite controller? Man, uh, besides mouse and keyboard. Yes. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> right. 
I, I'd still go with the, the PS3 DualShock or the, you like the, or, PS3. the or, or the or the 360. I like. I mean, this one. You prefer the 360 to the Xbox One controller. I mean, I haven't really. I don't own an Xbox One. Oh, so you haven't so, had this. So one. I have not had the opportunity to use one very often. Well, why don't we just put this They're in your hands comfy. right now? Tell They're me, tell me how you it. feel. <laughs> it's comfort. Uh, stick uh, tension. Stick now, tension. We're talking about a stick tension, everybody. Yeah, okay. stick tension. I don't, I don't even so if you guys, if you guys, uh, the other thing that Xbox One has the Elite controllers. They have two versions of the Elite controllers, which have paddle buttons at the bottom. You can change the sensitivity of the, of the sticks. You can change the tension you of the sticks. You just, you just get, you get, oh, like <laughs> using a. Um, <laughs> yeah, like you, yeah. Uh, no with, the, with the triggers, <laughs> you can change where the triggers like respond to, like all yeah. the way down, or you can make them like. Twi um, what do they call them? Hair triggers? Yeah. Don't they have like uh, accessories for yeah. them too? Yeah. And you can switch out the sticks. You know, you can switch out the right. D-pad and, and stuff And that's like great that. too. To be uh, able to, because um, yeah, like you were saying earlier, some of the joysticks will wear out and you can replace all the parts yeah. on them. I'd have to play a game, because I'm used to playing the old Halo on this game controller, so I would have to try it on this controller. I, I do so have an opinion. What I feel like this is, is that if you like... Little, it feels a little bit bigger though than that controller, and that's why that feels better in my hands. <gasps> okay. And that's why you like you're the, used the to hold, you're PlayStation used to hold things in your hands, Cal? Wow. <laughs> so you went there. So oh, you went there. No, you went there. Okay. No, but 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 I, I I get you. So you know if and I, that's part of the reason why some people really like I mean, the I PlayStation also, Three. I, I did like the Duke as well, though. I agree with Daniel that the Duke controller, the original OG Xbox controller. Yes, oh, and that's what I wanted boy. to talk about. I did want to take like a five the Duke. minute rant. The fat boy. I wanted okay. to take yeah. a five minute rant on this, and this is actually going to answer all the hey, questions. Trexus. So if I can, if you give me. A, Three minutes. Okay. Let me let me let me address chat because if we're gonna rant, I want to make sure I've addressed chat. Yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, Trexa says it took her a long time because Princess Cuddlepants says she's a little intimidated by a keyboard Jeez. learning the new language. That makes perfect sense. Start up with a simple game that doesn't require a ton, like a top-down game like Diablo would be good, or even something like Until Dawn, you know, where you could just like learn what the buttons are uh, and what they do. For a lot of games, mouse and key is better, but not all. Says Raven One. Uh, Trexus said going from PC to an Xbox controller was kind of intimidating. Uh, and Alm says the Duke felt so large, had a hard time reaching the black and white buttons. Like, I'm going to give you the Duke here in a second. Uh, and, okay, Gripping Yarn's here. Now you can rant away. Hello, okay. Gripping Yarn. <laughs> Tell uh, me about the Duke. So I already talked about how PlayStation kind of went with the nostalgia and kept the same controller. Yeah. Um, Nintendo just liked to go, you know what, we're going to do something completely wonky and different. And they took risks, and I love it. And they took risks in creating a controller that was completely built for a specific like game or two in mind, generally, I felt. Yeah. Xbox is a good example of learning from your audience. Like, the Duke controller I loved as a kid, like, it was big, but like once you had your hand on it, you had access to all the buttons everywhere was close enough to me. And I didn't have to like move around a lot. It was just there. Like I just like, very minimal finger movement, and I liked that. Um, not the best controller in the world, but n but not deserving of I think the amount of dislike that it got. Um, 360 was a vast improvement. They kept the layout um, good. They made it smaller. Um, but I've already talked about my issues with 360 controllers. Um, like the, the joysticks are a little wonky. The D-pad is unreliable and yeah. stupid. And I think that the Xbox One controller is perfection as controllers go. Well, and, and um, the, the thing about the Duke, though, the stuff. original OG Xbox controller, like the anchor, uh, that you failed to mention is that if, if someone is burglarizing your house, you can beat them to fucking death with it. True. <laughs> yeah. But also, they introduced, when controllers were still wired, they introduced the... The breakaway. To break away. Yes. So you the didn't take your whole controller with you, your console yeah. with you. So the original Xbox, which which we have down here, it's right the in there. Uh, the original oh, Xbox is is heavy. It's fucking heavy. Yeah. It's actually probably not much heavier than an Xbox One or a PS4 is actually. It's actually heavier but, still. But, but like, yeah. Maybe it maybe it is. But at the time though, this was the first uh, console with an internal hard drive that sold with an internal hard drive. Yep. So it's heavy, motherfucker. And so if that thing came crashing down off a TV, if you pulled a controller it took cable house with and you. took yeah, <laughs> here goes your wall, you know, prison break. So they had the disconnect cable so that if you pulled on the cable, it would just disconnect and, yep. and, that's and what I'm talking didn't about. move they the system. They were already pushing the agenda on controllers there. Um, it was big. It was big, but again, I just didn't feel like I had to reach around anywhere. Like right. everything was accessible. You didn't have to they reach learned around. a lot. They learned a lot. Yeah, you can't beat me to the chase, there, buddy. You're a little slow to that one. Um, they they learned an awful lot here, but this was like 
This was like the <clears throat> Alienware. This is like the Alien. This this is like the Mad Cat's version of the of the brick uh, I, Xbox. Like that's the standard. I don't know now. if I still and Mad have Cats, it. Also, let's be. Can we all agree that Mad Cats are the best controllers ever when Get we were out. younger? <laughs> like the N64 controller out of here, was like what happened a if a N64 controller got a tumor. Um, oh, yeah. Got, okay. It's not. It's the, not here. Yeah. Yeah. I was joking. Like the, the 360. Was Garbo. Okay. <laughs> I was. I was. Um, I, appreci- I, I appreciate. Like, I, was I appreciate gonna, your willingness well, to have cross that bridge and meet me halfway. <laughs> no. I was, oh, oh my gosh. Something. That was so funny. 360 made it. This isn't it. I have one in the other room, so I don't have it here. Um, so I apologize. 360 did make a controller um, that this here you could rotate and it would pop the D-pad up out of the disc. Yes. And it was better. It's still. It's still not as good as like what the Xbox One controller is right now. Yep. But that was better. I actually paid. It was, that one was like a more expensive controller than the others. Uh, but I paid for that one because I needed a fucking D-pad that worked. And, all right. and here's the end all be all. Every, uh, on the on your dashboard over there on your yeah is all the customizable, beautiful decorative, um, Xbox One uh, controllers. Yeah. So not only does it feel good ergonomically, everything's accessible. Um, the triggers are, are, are more, the, like you said, they're more of a cushion, whereas the PlayStation feels like they're springing up ac- back against you. Like, the Xbox One controller is the perfect controller, and not only that, you can I, get custom ones. I agree. They're decorative, they're pretty. Mine I think, is customized with my favorite color. I think the Xbox One controller is the best it controller. Is. Uh, right. it, you can plug it into, it's PC compatible, it's yeah. Xbox compatible, yep. it's just uh, standard USB. Uh, there's actually a couple we need to address, though. Yeah. So. What was my light gun? You you like the 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 peripherals? My, my, and my gauntlet from the original. Actually, oh, the original. Yeah. 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 Also, yeah. though, the best controller in the world is actually we, the the tr- the track we had, pad from NES. I think uh, we actually had a. a, a <laughs> I was we did say. A, we did a podcast on like the on peripherals and accessories at one point. Yeah. We touched on controllers then. The virtual boy controller. Uh, right. Virtual boy. Oh shit! Oh, actually, man, you didn't know what the virtual boy the controller. Seizure boy. Right. <laughs> So, uh, people mentioned earlier uh, the GameCube controller, and I think yeah. that the GameCube controller is it's so good, they're still making it. Right. Yeah, no. They're still like, making that's the, the controller. For Nintendo is it what is I think so good. Their controller. You, know, you know each button because each button is a different size and different location. And mm-hmm. shape. Yeah, yeah. Shape. and shape. So, you, like, yeah. yeah. I mean, I love the, the buttons on the outside, right, right outside the... Uh, the uh, X Y A B. Yeah. Um, or or just the the larger B and the smaller A. Or is that backwards? The, yeah. No, that's right. I think. How, how the larger you know, B, larger the smaller. A, smaller B. But how oh, did you okay. feel about the um, the C stick? Like, is it dual stick and doesn't really Super make a usable. difference? Yeah. Super usable. But, you just flick but the, they were not the same stick though. One was a smaller nub and, and one was and a bigger. And the other one was more like an, an item selector versus character mover. Right. Yeah. So you did like that though. Oh yeah. No. Mm-hmm. And that's where I was gonna add. GameCube controller is by hey, far the best Nintendo controller ever. Okay. Right. But it I still is not an Xbox that. One. You agree with that one? I'll but you know what you were saying about the Super NES, I for 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 what it was I guess back in the day, that's uh that's still a really great controller. Yeah, but yeah. but also the Super NES controllers and, and even honestly the NES controllers, maybe less so the NES controller. I feel like if you picked up a Super NES controller this one was obviously made in 2018 Alicia or whatever. Like, my wife but if, could pick up a Super NES. Not controller. only could you learn it, but if you found a, a Super NES controller from 1992 and plugged it in, it probably still fucking works. <laughs> yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. that was a it was a beefy it was a beefy dude. GameCube yeah. for the win. How do you feel then about so if we're talking about all controllers? Yeah. But what about in portable gaming? Okay. What do you think? The original Game Boy versus the Game Boy, the smaller Game Boy, the Fat Boy. <sighs> so the just the like the original g- green screen Game Boy. I think that it it was it's pretty much an NES controller, just a little a little yeah. more smushed together. Um, I hated it because it had nothing to do with the controls, but the battery life was shit. Oh, and and there's no bat light, and there's no, no backlight. Like, what six? Was it four four double A's in the yeah. back of that? Yep. I yeah. mean, do you remember like riding in your mom's car, and like every time a, a traffic uh, a street light passed by, you're like, okay, there I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's that's funny. I like that. And like you, like I had to play Pokemon just like. Playing by the streetlights. Streetlights yeah. at the time. Uh, Absolutely. The N64 is the worst controller of all time. Yes or no? No. 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 Oh, God, it's such a... <laughs> you, you don't have three hands. You're right. Well it, is, it is not... Accept, not all buttons are accessible to you at all times with your hand placement. You have to right. move your hand to get the other side. On top of which, that stick, after two gaming sessions, was just a wacky, wavy, flopping, inflatable... You know what? Hands. I'm going to even True add enough. to your argument. Blisters. Mario Party. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We stopped playing Ooh. Mario Party because I realized that there were... 
just ass fucking my controllers. I mean, just oh, yeah. getting in there. And I was like, oh, we played a game of Mario Party, and now look at this. Like, <laughs> hey. It was probably made out of the yes. most ridiculous crap. Right. But here we go. The materials alone. Counter argument. You ready for this? This Please. is why I, I'm only defending, I'm only arguing against the notion that it's the worst. Okay. <laughs> I live my life one street light at a one. time. GP. <laughs> the D-pad was not used for practically any game ever. So I just thought of it as like a vestigial tail. Like, uh, it, just, it just fucking hangs on there. This is all I need for the N64. I, I, so, so yeah. like, yes, I don't have three hands, but no game was ever made for it. They did it because they wanted to give you the... the they, they, it, the hardware had the idea that you could use a D-pad in exchange for the joystick for those who wanted it more. No games ever programmed around but, the D-pad. It moved on. However... And, and like, side note, that, all the C buttons were just like accessories. Like, you don't yeah. have to use them. And second argument... Uh, N64 did not have any sort of game that required breakneck speed shit on my joystick. That that wobbly shit meant nothing to me. Okay, see, so yeah, yeah, I had a I had a terrible time with it when we were like go, going back and playing games late, like late in the console cycle, and we would try to play Goldeneye or something, mm -hmm. and you'd like we'd tap forward on the stick and your character would move so you'd have to jam it like really fucking forward to get him to go. Oh, yeah, and I would get the blisters even on the bottoms Ooh, of my But thumb. here's the thing yeah. though, is Ooh. the, the D-pad and the, and the L button, those were practically unused but were also sometimes used. And so I'd be playing a game and I'd be like, how the fuck do I do this? And like 10 hours into a game go, oh, because I'm not <laughs> thinking about the mysterious buttons on the left side of the controller. You know what I mean? True, yeah. So... <clears throat> Now the worst controller. What what is your worst beside? What is your worst yeah? If it's not the N sixty four controller, what's the worst? I'll give you mine. Controller. Mine is the Nintendo Wii controller. Really, the original Wii controller. The Wii controller. The fucking Wii Mote. No, like why? Well, a, um, <clears throat> it's too small. Yeah. Okay, it's too small, especially when you're turning it sideways to play the original games. It's too small. It's not comfortable. No one likes f fucking playing it. Nobody likes playing it. Uh, also. Uh, when you use it for Wii Bowling or Wii Sports or Wii Tennis or anything like that, it registered like maybe half the time uh, because that little sensory bar that you had to have to play with it mm -hmm. uh, and because it was not, I feel like, uh, uh, the best thing that Nintendo's ever made. So, yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, the, even, even the motion yeah, was a sure. little, little janky. Like you, you when it worked well, it, 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 when it worked well, it felt fine. But it was never like, wow, you know, like you never, I never really had that moment with where we were like, no, son of a bitch. You're, you're not you know, going to sit up the there VR. and try to fucking play golf. You're just going to sit on your couch and just wand that shit. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we, we sort of played into it. When, we, when we, I was in, in, in uh, Joseph's apartment, we'd be playing Wii Tennis. Like, yeah. we'd be on all sides of the room. Like, oh, okay. And I'd be like, Anna Cor <laughs> I'd be like Anna Kornikova, like, <laughs> 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 you know, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> that's not any credit to the controllers. No, I guess it's yeah. the <laughs> But I mean, a little credit to the controllers. I couldn't do that if we were just going to play, uh, you know, regular Mario Tennis, you know, with controllers. Fuck that game also. I hate that game. Fuck off. Fuck that. Oh, I think we just found a new game for game night. No. All right, all right. Mario Which, by the way, you get to pick Mario the season 64. opener for game night. Right? Okay. Do we have so do we, much fun. Do we have a Wii? Do we have a Wii? Yeah. Yeah. We do. <laughs> I have a Wii. <laughs> uh, yes, we, have we do have a Wii. And television uh, from Mattel had the most annoying controller. It had slip out cards that went over the top of the pad and stiff buttons. Yes, that's right. What? what? I've never used the uh, Intellivision controller, but I've seen it. You basically had like a, a, a controller with buttons on it, but you would switch out the cards, I think, depending on the game. That would tell you what the buttons were. So. That's fucking weird. Yeah. yeah. Um, Atari's was what? A stick and a button? Stick and a button. Okay. Uh, the Genesis. How did you feel about that three button Perfection. or six button? See, the D pad was on a disc as well, but it didn't seem to hurt it as much because as the, the 360. quality and level of, of, of detail in the games, the the was just lower. I mean, we're it's just like side scrollers. Did, yeah, yeah, you, yeah didn't, you didn't need you didn't, a lot. You of... didn't need the most advanced fucking technology yeah. to play. That's the Lion King on Sega Genesis. You should have. That game's hard as balls. And it's so much fun. Worse than Just Souls. Like the Lion King's hard as shit. Lad is hard as fuck, too. Dude. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the, first of all, I did also want to point out, those of you that were fans of the Duke, I think it's Hyperkin, they brought the Duke back. So you can get oh, okay. that old 
You get a Duke for, with the, for the Xbox One. For the Xbox One mm-hmm. and PC. No. That's kind of hype for you. And <laughs> That's the, actually kind of hype That for center you. bit that had the Xbox One logo yeah. on it is actually a little LCD screen. Oh, okay, cool. How expensive is that controller? I'm going to look that shit up. 70? Seriously? Ooh, let's yeah. Look, let's, let's look up this. It's, it's up there. But if you're fans of the Duke, you can find it. It's still That'd be cool out there. I'm not gonna LCD go is customizable. I'm not going to get a That'd new That'd be dope. Duke. That'd be cool. That'd because, be really dope. again, they've already... I'm looking this is perfect. my favorite fucking controller. They've perfected the controller. For sure. Yeah. It's got weight. I like my controllers to be have a little bit of weight. I want it to feel it solid and sturdy. Balanced. It's balanced. Like, look, yes. That's <laughs> all it's, be. it's been perfectly done. <laughs> so, you want to know what the worst console controller is, in my opinion? I would love to know. I'll take it. This is Raven 1. This piece of shit. Wow. The PS4 controller. You're a great fucking controller. Hayden Panzier in a fucking... <laughs> Uh, you lost a character. I lost a character because, uh, like, it has a sensor bar to sense. Right. And so, I was holding that shit still, and it was like... I think you just set it on your lap, actually. No, I had it in my hand. I had it oh, like this. You? I had it like this. Oh, okay. I, th- I thought you had set it... Um, I thought you would let go of it and set it on your lap. I hate, because I always forget that the stupid thing's a button. There's a touchpad. Yeah. Mm. And There's motion, motion stuff. And you want to know what we call that? We call that user error. We don't call that a problem with the controller. We call that a problem with the user. <laughs> You're they, a problem. They, with they, you. don't, they don't understand that the controller is not the controller's fault. That's the user's fault. So as I was going, <laughs> it doesn't have a start and a pause button. Right. It's got a share button, which is also the most useless fucking button. Yeah, in the world. I agree. Um, it's pretty. It's and pretty all right. And the joysticks slip. I mean. This is not. You just defend shit to defend shit because it's Sony. Like if you actually look at that thing, that share button's a huge pain in the ass. It is. It is. It, 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 is, it is objectively is a just, huge pain in the ass. This is just not listening to the audience. <laughs> like <laughs> Sony has a history of not listening to their audience, in my opinion, when it comes to controllers. They, well, they, uh, well it, I don't know if it's that they just make the same controller. Right. I mean, it's it's basically the same thing. You know, they've they've added some bells and whistles to it. They've added a, a speaker to it, I think. Yeah, yeah and um, then they showed when they were like, oh, little play this PlayStation 4. We have this little mini game that you can have these little fuckers that live in the controller, and when you tilt the controller, oh, look, they're falling on the screen. Who room? fucking ever played that again? Like, so, yeah. Obviously, you played it, though. No, I never did. I never did. I watched it on um, E3, and I was like, oh, that looks like fun. The end. The yeah. end to that thing. <laughs> and then my yeah. brain stopped thinking about it. I have a question for you guys. Uh, so the difference between the Xbox One controller and a PS4 controller, there are many, but but one of them is stick placement. So the the Xbox One controller here, I'll I'll just show you guys so you guys know what I'm talking about here. Uh, oh, I'll take this one here actually. So do you prefer your controller to have the sticks that are um, what's that? A uh, caddy caddy wampus caddy wampus <laughs> caddy wampus or symmetrical, yeah. asymmetrical, or do you prefer your sticks to be symmetrical like like this, where they're and, literally and here's, right here's next to the answer, here, There's a reason why the Xbox is the correct answer. The, traditionally, unless you're like a Southpaw style or you swap it up, the left hand is for movement and control of the character. So you need your thumb to be high up so that you can aim the directions. The joystick on the bottom is a good one for aiming, but also for like, uh, menu items or stuff like that, and the buttons are the primary thing that your thumb rests on. The buttons being the primary thing, so you quickly move and hit them. Um, and so I, I don't like I'm, I'm I'm trying to go with you, but I feel like that's just sort of going to be arbitrary depending on whatever your no. your preference is. Yeah, this is the resting like, pl- this is the resting position okay. right here. Well, this is the resting of, position. So I'm moving I my can... character and I'm activating whatever abilities pushing what whatever buttons. Um, if it's a first-person shooter, this is not a hard thing to adjust to, but switching between this, I, I feel. But I feel like, like your, rest, your resting is, position is just wherever, you, whatever you've been trained on. But this is like this is the resting easy. position on a PlayStation in this oh, thumb. Not. Resting position is right here on the D pad. What fucking so, game are you playing? <laughs> I I was gonna I was gonna debate him on this, <laughs> but your reason makes me not want. <laughs> no, 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 no. You do not rest your thumb on the D pad. This is what you control stuff with. The you d- control stuff with the D-pad too. I you don't have to. Yeah. D- you navigate the menu. The D-pad is an option. 
The D-pad is, is an not, option is nobody not a, takes. Is, so the D-pad is not I use usually. the D-pad in fighting games. I mean, it feels more yes. natural okay. to okay. hold okay. the Xbox. Well, I, are... I actually have no argument against it. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. Fighting games. That's true. Fighting games. But hey, hey, it, it's specific. Hey, don't get all aggro because I agree. Ah! Specific, okay. specific <laughs> to fighting games, you can choose between the D-pad and the controller to move your character. Yeah. yeah. In, RPGs. in most games, in most action games, Minions. FPS games, uh, RTS games, uh, world, you know, your, your MMOs, any any game with exploration in it, this moves the character. Right. This will not move the character. Right. This is going to be either menus, weapon select, menu quick something uh, like that, an item something. And like that's that. why that's why. But I but I don't is. buy the resting position being up and up. Yeah. I, I I figure the resting position could be whatever you're trained on. It could be down and down. No, no. If I hand you a controller, regardless of what game, right? I'm he handing you a controller. Here you go. I went like this. Hold that. So where yeah. you, where Where's you, your thumb? Right. Where they land? Where are your right? Th- no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying I, I've I'm been saying. trained to do this. Well, yes. is what I'm saying. But that's the point. Many games use the buttons here. Like some first-person shooters use the right joystick okay. down, and that's not a hard transition. So this because we are used to making that transition so much. This is kind of what I want to know then. To people who are not gamers, like I don't know how to do this blind. If you hand them a controller. Just random controllers. Do they default up and up? Is that where? The, which is, I think, what you're saying. Is that well, their natural instinct is going that's to, where my, to be? That's where my that's where my wife will come in and help us do a study because she can make that shit double blind. There we go. Well, she can make okay. that shit super yeah. double blind. Let's see. So, let's see where where their thumbs basically, lay. Basically, because if go their find thumbs it, go find it, the wives of any yeah. gamer guys. That what? don't like don't gamers. Or husbands of gamers. So, so, so here's, I was, here's, making, I was making a slight joke there, but who do you like? Gotcha, gotcha. I guess one, I one thing, uh, make sure that I'm not I guess about, about what J- JD's saying is that, like, the, for the placement, I guess, which one's more comfortable for you? Like, when I'm, when I'm holding the Xbox, it feels more comfortable. If I want to push all the buttons <laughs> at the same time, I can, I, I, it feels not as, um, I guess, janky as a PlayStation because I, I like the way that the, cur- the curves fit into the middle of my I like palm. the handles. Yeah, yeah the I hand- like the handles on the Xbox One. And, for uh, sure. Curves, you like them? Handles and curves. Love some curves, man. Yeah. And, uh, and then for, like, the PlayStation, you know, trying to hit all the, the L1, um, R1, and um, R2 and L2 right. feels kind of more... Uh, well, that's I you guess got strenuous. Or strenuous you gotta use, you gotta I got to I gotta adjust more. If you do it that but way, also, but see, I learned to use the one finger to do both. But also because sure, your thumb is so far down on the game, your thumb, thumb is so small, far down on the PlayStation. Like if you're getting really into the game, you're gonna push forward. It's gonna slip off. But on this one, like you can't slip your thumb any further high. Like so you slip it, you still got Raven. Controller Raven thinks joystick. that if you hand people a controller with dual analog sticks. That their thumbs are going to rest on the analog sticks, regardless of where sure. they are. Sure. Um, yeah, I was. They're I wasn't naturally going to. They're going to put. But it's just like, like how resting it, position will be on sticks is what Raven thinks. I'm, I'm, but yeah, yeah, I totally agree with that. But it, as as well as just like the just what JB was saying earlier, how it's arranged and how it's the height. Is- I, I prefer and, and I prefer the sticks the, being the comfort, further apart. The, I guess ergonomic comfort or, or I prefer the sticks being further Depends apart. Depends how big your hand is, basically. And and I th- I think that people with smaller hands might prefer things be a little more compact because these buttons are a little more compact, like in terms of like being able to hit stuff all within a thumb. Good. <laughs> Them range, <laughs> movement range. What are you trying to say? Now I did have a, I did have an interesting thing to talk about. Yeah, I had a, you have a thought. Uh, uh, someone I dated a while back had cerebral palsy and was not able to use her right hand very well. And so I remember like holding the left joystick normal, and she had to like push. Like, she would this. hold the left joystick um, and then use the top of her hand to hit yeah, the buttons. And that reminded me of a, a, a commercial I saw a while back, where um, I forget which video game company it was. Was building entire Xbox. Uh, it was Xbox. Yeah, yeah. Xbox it's making Microsoft. an accessible. And they had it like, like they had like yeah. this giant trackpad for like a kid whose hand was missing, um, and you know like just very customized controllers for anybody can, to game. And that yeah. brings back the notion: Xbox listens or Microsoft it's- listens to their audience. They make controllers. They are in the business of yeah. making controllers, yeah. and you can't, you cannot get that. That's that's my end argument right there. So yeah. one of the best controllers, yeah. also of all time, and th- th- the Xbox One controller just barely edges this out for me because up until the Xbox One came out, to me the best controllers of all time were actually the Logitech wireless controllers for the original Xbox and PS2. So uh-huh. they were sturdy and heavy. 
the stick tension and button reaction was top notch, better than the first party controllers were. And uh, it, the, the wireless signal was excellent. The, the way that they especially redesigned the ergonomics of the Xbox controller, because at the time you had the Duke or you had the Xbox S controller, mm -hmm. which moved, made it a little smaller, brought down the black and white buttons to the bottom so you can hit them down here instead of having to reach up top. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the Logitech one was like this beautiful, smooth, it was almost like a PS2 controller, but just wavy and ergonomic, and it felt I'm gonna have to fucking take a look at amazing. This. Um, I'll go grab you one. Uh, I think I have one that I can go grab. So, would you guys do a uh, fan can yes. while I go get that? How many you um, want? How many questions you want? Just grab one, because I think we're running out of questions. <laughs> there are three questions. Grab it. Be a 33% right. chance. Here we go. Uh, Shark, you got small hands? Yeah. Yeah, Shark was mentioned that earlier, <laughs> and, and, and her point was actually well brought up. Here we go. Uh, I don't know what this means. So, here we go. Uh, can we mount the Gutter Nerds shotgun shotgun on the podcast set? Do we have a Gutter Nerds shotgun? I don't know. Does Steven have a Gutter Nerds shotgun? This is definitely the question, like the one question that we needed Steven on set to be able to answer. <laughs> but Raven one says yes and yes. I mean, um, where's a? I mean, I don't see. So one. Like let's a, let's assume we do have a Gutter Nerds shotgun, like a real life blow your brains out. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. I mean, we are. Why you gotta go that deep? Because that's my opinion on guns: is that they're, I mean, they're meant for killing things. So what about shooting clays? What did clay ever do to me, man? Like, is, like clay pigeons. It's gonna make us violent if we have a if we have a gun on the show. Yeah, that's just how it works. Wow. So All I'm saying, so, so I, that, that 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 more or less the way I answer that more or less masks, but shows my actual uh, uh. answer <laughs> is that no. Do, do we have a gutter nerd shotgun? No. That's why. Yeah. Do we have a gutter nerd shotgun, and should we mount it on the podcast set? <laughs> That's the question. We <laughs> we we own a shotgun that I think is being affectionately referred to as the gutter nerd shotgun. But uh, no, there's no way I'm putting that on the set. <laughs> We're in Texas. Come on. This is, I guess it'll look like a, a DFW stream. Yeah. Put a gun on the <laughs> Wouldn't it? The answer on. is. The answer is no. no. <laughs> uh, sis. Uh, also, if oh, you guys want to, probably. Uh, also, if you guys want to uh, add a question to the Gunners fan can, you can just tweet us at Gunners using hashtag fan can, or if you're watching on Twitch, you can. Did I finish that sentence? Hashtag fan can, or if you're on Twitch, you can uh, redeem nerd cred on the nerd cred system for it. So here's here's what the S controller looked like, real quick, just to like a remind you guys. Oops. Party well, foul. It's fine. Party foul. They drop test these things. Oh, um, okay, okay, okay. So here's. Here's the S to remind you guys. Do this is what the like smaller Xbox, Xbox One, or sorry, Xbox original. I'm quite proud of that like controller actually. Right there. <laughs> Good for you, controller. <laughs> well was, done, Logitech. I don't like it. And, and it's got those memory cards in the back. Is that is that what those are? Uh, yes, yeah. yeah. So this is the. Uh, uh, so Xbox had an internal hard drive, but it also had memory card slots on the controller, so that you could. Take take your data. To I other remember Xboxes. being so proud of that. I'm like, this is <laughs> my memory card. It has so, all my shit on it. This, and then when the hard drive came out, I was like, oh, I just put it all in there. This is the the Logitech wireless Xbox controller. It's the start ergonomic. One in the red. It's the, heavy. These are tense. Like yeah. these are they bite beefy back. triggers right here. They push against you. Uh, great button uh, and stick reaction. You can turn vibration on and off. And it's just like and the start select and black white buttons being at the bottom. Yeah, is so actually a it's real just smart, really. Smart idea. Uh, there was uh, internal rumble on the Xbox One. There was no rumble pack for Correct. the X or for the, when I say Xbox, I mean the original Xbox. And there's another thing that but. PlayStation didn't do for they did not wrong. do rumble until wrong DualShock controller original PlayStation. Rude. <laughs> I'm just informing you that you're well, wrong. Right, right. Well, but, but you didn't you hear the did, rest of the you did it He might have. He might have said most Donald Trump shitty. At <laughs> wrong, wrong. But it, at the end wrong. of his sentence might have been PS2 late in the cycle or late in the cycle of PS1. I mean, you assumed he was going to say PS2. 
He was, he was gonna say PS2. He was gonna say PS2. I know. But you and also- they, 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 Yeah, I just shut him down. <laughs> <for> <laughs> guys, you know, and let him know he was wrong. I don't know how you could read his mind, is, I guess is my point. Because he was gonna yeah, say- Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> the, the first Rumble controller was the N64. You had the Rumble Pack, yeah. right? Uh, the, the Dreamcast- First Star Fox 64. Launched with Star Fox Man, 64. Man, that sucker made it heavy too. You're like, oh jeez. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, yeah, I got a big fish on this one. <laughs> <laughs> It rumble. What is it rumble? <laughs> right. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, so they, they, the, the PS2 controller for the Logitech Wireless actually was almost exactly like this, except it was blue instead of green, and the stick and D-pad were switched. So that was like, or I guess no, actually they would have had the buttons on top. Now that I think about I it, don't actually, know why they never mind. Just made it universal, but top. like whatever. I guess they really could have, couldn't they? Have? Yeah. Yeah. That would have been mm-hmm. sweet. But, uh, yeah, so uh, we're all wrong, though. This is actually the best controller of all time. This is the best controller of all time. This is the Steel Battalion controller for original Xbox One. It's got a million fucking buttons and levers and all sorts of shit. Look at that. You got a button for your windshield wiper fluid. Beauty. You got uh, an eject button on the right side. You have fucking... There's uh, three pedals that actually go with it that go underneath it. That was some major commitment to that game. Yeah. You had to fucking commit to this game. But there was another game that had a controller that you had to commit to that did better, and that's the Guitar Hero series. The Guitar Hero series. Oh, I was man. wondering if someone was going to say DK Bongos. Did anybody play the DK game on GameCube? We never had, yeah. any, we never had any like special mentions. <laughs> right? I mean, the DK bongos were fun. Yeah. Those are more peripheral conversation than and a control wrong, conversation. When I watch somebody like beat the entirety of Resident Evil 4 on DK bongos, yeah. like I'm massively impressed, but they were working with a handicap there. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I've seen someone beat Dark Souls with the fucking yeah. DK bongos. When so Dark Souls first came out? Yeah. It's I done. Think that's an aggressive uh, waste of time you got going on What's for yourself. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah, not a waste of time. Uh. That was a self... <laughs> Self-administered yeah. challenge and totally worth doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the joy of saying, I'm going to give myself something real hard to do and do it just for the fun right. of it is totally cool. Is this the same way that you decide you want to go plat? <laughs> like, that's a, that's a grindy challenge, right? Like, why, I would did, you, why would you do Oh, my gosh. Right? Smart <laughs> power glove. I did mention the Mark power glove. Fast. Power glove. Yes. Hey, Slutterman's Special fast. mention. Yeah. Power Special glove. mention, if you ever want to not be good at anything. Did you, when you guys did trackpad, did you actually do feet or did you with your hands? Doing it with your hands is actually worse. I remember my cousin Nick would just be, and our guy, like, we'd do the hurdle race and you just go, <laughs> he didn't have to jump because he was just going so fast. It was like he was like flashy. <laughs> so he would do the hundred meter dash in like three seconds, and the and the controller and the computer's like do 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 jump, and the other guy's <laughs> and it was the it's it's oh, one so of my good. favorite memories as a child. So we used to play on the Nintendo trackpad as well, and we were on the second floor of the house, like mm, the game oh room. My room was on the second story. So our parents would be like sitting there, like watching TV, and then all of a sudden. <laughs> like above, like a fu- like a fucking hailstorm. Oh man, I bet they hated that. Um, what about the um, what about Wii, the D&D, Wii uh, D&D. yoga pad thing? The controller for doing yoga. Oh, DDR. No, no, no. They have like a. It's the, it's the way oh, the up. Wii balance board. The yeah. So I never, I literally used the Wii balance board as a scale. About ten years ago, I I lost like forty pounds, and the way I did it was just by logging into Wii Fit every day. Like just, I mean, I, I did other stuff too. I like changed my eating habits, but I had the Nintendo Wii hold me accountable. Mm-hmm. So I never used the balance board for like gaming. It was a scale. Yeah, yeah, but also like I tried to do the yoga and I was like, you're actually balancing on this part of your foot instead of this part. And it never made me want to scream like, fuck you to a screen more than when I'm like, I am standing on this different thing. <laughs> I'm balancing! And, and, and like, I Raven, got so angry. Raven reminds me that we would have chairs, so we would be standing and do it, and then when we jumped, we would jump and hold ourselves up so we'd be jumping further. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. that's right. Hey, Nikki Wolf, how's it going? How's it going with you? Uh, anybody else want to tell me your favorite controller before we uh, end the show? Any, any mentions or anything? Yeah, we have a couple of announcements I'm going to talk to you guys about as well. And then if you guys want to hang out, if you're on uh, YouTube or listening to our audio podcast, we're, we're about to leave you. If, if you're on Twitch, hang out with us because we can talk about some of these announcements. Uh, you may have some questions. So, uh, But if there's any other controllers that we need to know about, uh, now's the time. Okay. Worst controller also would happen to be any game that's on the touch screen of yeah. the phone. Touchscreen controls on phones are pretty fucking bad. Yeah, and my and, and, and my students, I, like, 
these are the number one games that are being played these days. I don't yeah. know how they do it. And and they'll like, play Fortnite oh. on there, and I don't have any and idea like, how dude, the fuck. Dude. I don't have any idea I mean, how the fuck. lag input alone for, right. for me is, is my issue to do that. Rock Band <laughs> drum set. Oh, yeah, the Rock Band drum set's fantastic peripheral. Especially once you get the one with, the, like, the cymbals. So, yeah, yeah, with it, the pro setup. Oh, God, you, like, played that for, like, two months. And dude, like, here's the thing. Wrist broken. Like, I, <laughs> drum, oh, man. Drum on expert Rock Band is actually as close as you could get to, a, to the actual just, like, instrument. You just, like, you just swap out the drum set to slide it in. It's like, you can't do that with a guitar. Right, but, right. Just, yeah, you're still fucking drumming. Dude, uh, I love that with Rocksmith. Like that was so a really nice idea. Cool. Yeah, actually, I think I still have the Rocksmith controller that has like the hundred buttons or on it oh, okay. or whatever. Fuck. But you oh, can no, actually no, no, use no. your own guitar. You on can it. use a real guitar with Rocksmith. Yeah. That's right. I forgot about that. No, the, I'm thinking of uh, the Pro controller for like Rock Band Three. I think because mm. after Rocksmith came out, Rock Band Three decided like, oh, we could probably teach them like some chords, actual chords oh. and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So, uh, a couple of announcements. The first one, this one's not going to be too controversial, but I'm super fucking excited about it, guys. Uh, we're going back to Doomsday. the heist. Doomsday Heist. I'm so fucking wait, excited wait, wait, wait. about this. Guys, uh, on, on Saturday, August 31st, starting at noon and lasting like all day long, we're me, JB. Do you see how excited my guy is? Do you see you guy up there top right? I'm, I'm committing murder. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, me, JB, Nerdez, and uh, Sam are going to be going through the Doomsday Heist. Now, me, JB, and Sam went through uh, the old heists with our buddy Chuck, and we're going to be doing this one with Nerdez. If you guys want to watch our heist series, it's as close to an actual TV show that we've produced, like in terms of like sort of kind of having characters and sort of kind of having a plot line. <laughs> Go to our YouTube channel. It's just Gutter Nerds on YouTube, and check the GTA Online heist playlist. I want to add <laughs> that that character where you superimposed your head on the jetpack guy is the most accurate version. Like, I want a jetpack, yay! Like, that's your, that's like exactly what you would look like on a jetpack. Like, down to the choice of clothing you would wear that day. Right. So, uh, the the Wednesday before we do the heist, uh, we're going to do some practice. We're going to, like, do the prep stuff. Like, we're not going to do any of the heist prep. Yeah, but, but we, may, but we might we're gonna to have to good. buy. we're going to have to buy some things. We're going to have to buy a facility. We're going to have to do those things, right? So the Wednesday before, we'll get back into GTA Online. This is the best four-player co-op I've ever played in my life. Is so the he- is the heist series? It's so much. So fun. I'm super stoked about the Doomsday. We heist. need more of this. Yeah. I I honest I'm honestly hoping because they released uh, some info about the next GTA uh, Seven, right? No, six. It would be six. Six, and it takes place in some, like two different timelines. One's in like America, and one's in like somewhere in um, the Caribbean. And it's supposed to be. It's supposed I've to be. I've not heard any of this. It's supposed to be like, um, what's the uh, Miami Beach one? Vice, Vice or uh, Vice City. Vice City. Yeah. yeah, you revisit a Vice City, and it's like a one p- half of the game takes place in like the seventies, and the other takes place in like the late eighties. Interesting. I read an article on this, oh. and I and I felt comfortable that that was an actual article and not some BS thing. Some, some yeah. I'll look into it. And not some. But crap. I'm like I'm like oh my gosh, what are, what are they going to do about the online like it. How's that? Yeah, with my and, online. Oh, and GTA Online, just in general, is just really awesome. Should we we're gonna game. spend some time in the casino as well. Yeah. Oh, I need to go. We need to, we need to check out the casino. Do you want to go gambling? Like just later? <laughs> yeah. With, with fake money. I do. <laughs> uh, the other thing that I need to let you guys know, I mentioned this in the Discord earlier, but from uh, September twenty third to October twenty third, right about there, uh, we're gonna be doing a mixer test. So we're going to all of our shows. During that time, during that month, including my birthday stream, which is on October 18th, birthday will be an all-day theme, uh, will be on Mixer. So, why? Uh, the reason is because now is the time to try it. If we're going to try Mixer to see if we like it, to see if you like it, now is the time to do it. Uh, it doesn't have so much to do with Ninja, although that does play a role because the changing landscape of streaming will have to do with those kind of big announcements. So does that play a role? Yes. Is that the reason? No. Uh, one of our friends switched to Mixer, uh, Haylock Ness, back at the beginning of the year and has done so well. Has an amazing stream and an amazing community. And you guys are an awesome community. So we, that's why I'm giving you guys a month heads up is because we don't want to leave you. Uh, this is, first of all, just a test. This is, we're just going to see how it how it works, but we want you guys to come with us. We want you to come with us and let you know what you like and don't like. If there are, if, if let this is- Let us know, yeah. Let us know, yeah. What did I say? 
Let you know what you like and don't like. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, so we want you to come with us. We want your input podcast. and to, <laughs> to interact and see if this is something that serves you and serves our stream and allows us to to grow, grow in a in an organic way. If not, then we'll be back in uh, we'll be back at the end of October, early November, and uh, we'll just be right back where we left off. And yeah. we'll we'll no harm, no foul. Yeah, yeah, this is this is our home, and but. You guys are our home. It doesn't matter to me what app we pull up or what website we go to, as long as you guys are there. As long as we get to hang with the same cool crew, yeah. same cool folk. Yeah. So let's let's come with us on that journey. If you have questions, if you want to talk about it, feel free to uh, stick around, um, and we so, can talk uh, more about it. And if you guys want to sit and chat, you can. Yeah. If you guys need to go, you can. Uh, but if you're watching on YouTube or listening to our audio podcast, this is where we're leaving. My name is Steve-O. Corporal Cal. Gem and Amon. I'm JB. And we'll see you guys next week with an as-yet-to-be-determined topic.